Hello, welcome to my first video explaining how to do artwork like I have done. You've probably come across my artwork on my website uh, via Pinterest and I've had quite a few inquiries asking me to show you how I do it. So this is a video to show you just uh, one of the pictures and hopefully there'll be more to come. So I hope you enjoy it and get something out of it. This is the image that we're going to be uh, looking at drawing. Uh, it won't be as fine as this, but it will give you a rough idea of how to create the basic shape. Uh, and this is on my website, uh, adamchristopherdesign.co.uk forward slash female dash form dash sketching. Uh, so if you want to go and have a look at that, if you haven't seen it already, and there's uh, various other images uh, that I've done. So without further ado, this is what we're going to end up with. Uh, a lot rougher than that previous image, but the, the sketchiness uh, is something I like, it gives it more character uh, and something a bit more um, natural about it rather than just a, a computer generated image. So let's get rid of all this so I can take you through it. First of all, I like to work with a sort of a coffee colour background. I feel that it looks a lot nicer than just a white or black uh, colour. It means that you can use a light colour and a dark colour and still manage to get some contrast as opposed to just using white. So the first thing we're going to need to do is pick a hit point. I'll just make this bigger for you. There we go. So you can see that in terms of our page, this particular image, pretty much central at the bottom. Uh, the picture that we're doing, if you remember, uh, the woman is uh, it's pretty much just side view, so there isn't too much perspective to make it confusing. Um, so this is our hit point. And from there, we can measure out the dimensions, the proportions of the woman. Uh, these dots represent all the different joints and they probably don't mean anything at the moment but when they link up then you start to see how the proportions work with each other. So this is the thigh bone and this here is pretty much equal to up to the shoulder. I've done a measuring stick here. If we, if we just rotate this to show you. You can see that that goes to the knee and then further round up to the shoulder. This is just a rough guide and this is not exact science uh, because this woman actually has a, an arched back so this may be a little bit longer in real life. And you'll also notice that in this particular one her elbow is almost as long as her back which is not right either. So it does need a little bit of thought about it and common sense but you know it's a good rule to work on. So that's that proportion and this proportion here this, this leg is a little bit shorter that's because there's a slight amount of perspective in this. So the furthest leg away is a little bit shorter than the nearest one. But as a rule of thumb, obviously they're going to be the same. Let's just pivot back from there, down to there. And you can see that the thigh bone, the, sorry, the shin bone, just a little shorter than the thigh bone. And it will be the same here. So that's that done. Just going to go hide that measure stick. You don't need that. So it looks a bit synthetic at the moment, although we've got the lines, that's uh, all we need to get the proportions. We want to make it look a bit more interesting. So just go over those lines, sketch them, do them rough, some rough circles, and it looks a lot more interesting straight away. And you can already see that the proportions are working. 
don't rush the proportions. It's the key thing. It can be, uh, you know, a really rough drawing, but if the proportions are right, it will still look good. It can be a really neat drawing. If the proportions are wrong, it will look bad. So make sure you get this stage right. For the hip bones, we've now drawn in uh, a pelvic bone rather than just a dot, so that gives you uh, more shape to work with. And also the rib cage is an important one as well. It helps you to draw uh, much better. Um, and this is this uh, rib cage is, is sort of like a flat-bottomed egg uh, when you when we spin it round in uh, later tutorials. We'll see uh, how it works in a, a different dimension. But the head uh, is somewhere between the shoulder and the elbow, a little bit further up. And you can see with what I've done here, although it was just an oval to start with, she's turning her head slightly, and we've managed to indicate that by just drawing a, a rectangle on her face to represent her hair. Uh, and a centre line would probably go around about here. So we've picked up the shape a little bit more. We've got a nice rough looking uh, sketch of the proportions of a woman. So we can start to fill her out a little bit. Now notice that the uh, pivot points of all the joints and the bones are not on the extremities of the actual drawing. They're well within. So there's plenty of fat and muscle that goes on the outside of this skeleton. Don't be afraid to add some on. Um, it's a common mistake that I make and many people make. That, so you start off and you make everyone far too skinny, uh, which you don't want to do. Uh, confidence will give you the ability to put a bit more fat on her uh, and you'll learn the structure of the muscles and how the fat is going to lie. Uh, but learning that really helps to uh, create uh, a finished drawing. Uh, you can notice that the, the curve of the spine that was already accentuated from the initial line drawing has been again accentuated more because now we've built up some of the muscle that will occur. So just around here there's a muscle which is accentuated when you raise your arm up. You can do that by looking in the mirror, mirror yourself whether you're male or female. You know, you'll see a muscle there uh, that stands out quite a lot. Uh, and her bum, she's sitting on something, so that's squished down. So this is just gravity and forces squishing her bum so that it creates more of a curve. And you'll notice here, this is a very straight line. This is, this is wrong. This, if it was going to be a neater drawing, this would come in straight here a little bit and then curve out, not that much, but, and then in. So you actually give it the tone of her, her figure. So we've built it up again, and we've got uh, starting to get somewhere. Now we're going to go around and give it some shadow. Uh, just a very quick darkening, but you can already tell it gives it more, uh, more depth. And it's an easy, easy trick to do if the light point is coming from just up above. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out all the lower parts are going to be some sort of darker shade. And then on top of that, you can add some darker shades again for the real areas that are going to be the darkest, the proper underneath bits. The next is a good trick for helping a drawing to just pop out, and that's to go around all the extremities and the, the parts of the body that. Uh, actually have an edge with a thicker liner and this makes the image stand out. All the detail within, you know, like the, uh, the curve of the breast, the rib cage, uh, and the skeleton, they can still remain light, but the outskirts of it, they can get dark and that really makes it stand out in the image and it draws the eye to this part of the image as opposed to you know, the details, and it allows the eye to filter out to the less important things as, as you take it all in. The 
using the same technique with the shading as uh, with the outlining I've just gone under the bottom parts and just made them pop a little bit more with a thicker line you can see just there makes it stand out a little bit more so now that we've done her we can start to add some context in and say perspective lines they will go to this point here so you can see it's quite an easy drawing she's going to be lying on a sunbed uh, that helps your eye draw in to that point down there and then once that's done <coughs> you can add in some background so there's a swimming pool here and a forest in the background all together you can see that it's pretty much starting to come together add some shading for the bench and some highlights for her I tend to leave the highlights to the end because they can really make quite a big difference and really make it stand out especially in comparison to her surroundings you can see that we've used thicker lines heavier lines darker shadows and some highlights and whilst you take in the surrounding area the actual sketch is what takes your focus and finally just add a gradient on just like sky or photography to make it into a nicer image so that's pretty much how you do that image uh, to take it further to be uh, the image on my website you, you basically just keep on going with working through it take out some of the, uh, the sketch lines uh, and just neaten it up really but you can see you know, if you work with different layers and you can get different effects it's already similar to uh, more similar to the one on the website but yeah have a play whether you've got uh, Photoshop or whether you've got a pen and paper doesn't matter you can still do this harder to work with the layers obviously if you've got pen and paper but still possible so hopefully you, you like that hopefully you got something out of it and if you've got any more questions then just drop them below and I'll see if I can answer them and maybe do another video. Thanks for watching and I hopefully see you soon.